Hello and welcome to the Dojo Live recap show this Monday, May 2020, 2020, May 29th, 2023. My name is Kim Landis and joining me is my co-host, America Guerrero. Hey. Hey. So what do we do in the recap show? We talk about the shows we had here in Dojo Live last week. Um, our insights, our thoughts is a way to encourage you. If you haven't watched them yet, you can check them out at dojo.live, also our YouTube channel and of course we're going to introduce what we've got coming up this week as well so last week we had two great shows um that consisted first up with adrian marquez who is the founder of agaru it's a bit of sales it's a little bit of psychology but it's also a very human it, it takes a very human spirit in a way or learning how to tap into that and the soft skills are considered unmeasurable because there's no real test that you can do on people, right? At the same time, they are not something, and it's not coding and not every interaction is going to be exactly the same. So you have to have that particular awareness to develop and to deploy your talents. Followed up by Madhav Kurana, who is head of data science and analytics at Rebuy. So the problem we are trying to solve at Rebuy is that today is a very consumer driven society. And they are, the big challenges that we face here are overconsumption and waste. People think that pre-owned goods are not really good. And we are trying to change that by making the whole experience very seamless. We created a, a trusted online marketplace that grades all the products with expertise. So this ensures that you can trust the quality to be good when you buy it from us. And so kicking it off with Adrian, we talked about helping talent rise. Gratitude, tech, and hospitality for social impact. What did you think of the product they're building at Ag Agaru? Excuse me. Agaru. Yeah. With Adrian, we discussed the importance of soft skills in the hospitality industry and how Agaru helps is aiming to make hospitality workers more marketable, right? Yeah. So the yeah, the platform allows customers to rate and provide feedback of the staff's performance, creating creating a talent record that can open up opportunities for the workers. So it is something, a tool for you as an employee and also a tool for companies. That is really smart. Yeah, it is smart. I mean, I think in terms of business, Agaru's uh, clientele is the companies, right? But as he was building this out, it made a lot of sense, the story behind it. And he, I think he himself described it as trip advisor meets LinkedIn. And, I, I, and as, as he said that, I was like, that's exactly what I was thinking, right? It's an opportunity for people to give feedback, to express their gratitude when they receive service to tap into and encourage the soft skills and talent of others, things that they may not be able to see in themselves, um, of course, to be marketable and also a way for businesses, right, to get kind of that feedback and know who their star employees are. And it's, again, based on or focused on the hospitality industry, something that's of course, of course, near and dear to Adrian's heart. A super cool platform. If you'd yes. like to get involved, I think you could do that at agaru.me. And get and, wine. And get wine. I'm like, whoop, whoop. Um, yeah, he says, Adrian says, for every 10 votes you submit, he'll send you a bottle of wine. Um, and it's also this really cool mashup between the digital world and the physical world. Um, the employees and the people registered there actually get physical printed recognitions. So it's a really neat way um, to show gratitude. And as we're talking about tapping into um, just the humanity of digitization, which actually I think has a lot to do with um, the following show, which was with Rewi. I, I believe that it was with Madav where he said, as tech advances, we need to become more human or perhaps I'm mixing that up with Adrian. No, uh, I think that I remember the phrase. Uh, he says something about uh, appreciating the present and make a better future or something like that. But we need to check <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, but you know, we're talking about now Madhav Kurana, head of data science and analytics at Rebuy. Um, his show was all about AI being at the heart of sustainability um, and unleashing AI's potential as a way to transform the circular economy, circular economy, re-commerce is relatively new uh, terminology for me, but something that I could completely get uh, on board with. And in this case, it's specifically their focus at Rebuy is with electronics, right? Cell phones, tablets, and the like, a way for individuals who no longer have need for their devices or have upgraded their own devices 
to sell these devices to rebuy, revise, then reselling them to individuals. Um, and this is, of course, the circular economy in a way to help be green. Um, the We learned, you know, that the components, a lot of, this probably isn't new news, but the components in um, electronic devices are, you know, a limited resource and also potential contaminants. And a lot of that just ends up in landfills much sooner than need be. Um, so it's a really cool mission that we're, that they're doing there. But I think, of course, the focus is on the AI component um, of specifically uh, what uh, Madhav and his team are accomplishing. What were your takeaways from that show? Well, with the AI component, I remember that they utilize this technology dynamically to price products, uh, forecast market demand, and optimize operations to ensure a sustainable and seamless experience for customers. And that's something really great. And I also remember, so are you able to see, for example, if this cell phone is going to be <laughs> future? That is not possible yet, but it is amazing what they're doing right now. Yeah, I mean, certainly as a way to use the analytics, use the data, use the numbers and the trends to make predictions. And therefore, you know, strong business makes for strong customer experience. And it's really interesting, certainly what they're doing and having that impact. And I'm excited to see how that sort of rolls over into other businesses. And we become more and more, I think, circular economy focused. Interestingly, I think both of... Um, last week's shows were sort of focused on this pushback of, of consumerism, right? Um, so interesting touch and just different ways of going about doing that. So certainly check out both of those shows again, dojo.live. This week is going to be a pretty busy week. We've got three shows. We're fully booked both tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, what do we got coming up? Yes, so we're going to have a conversation tomorrow with Eddie Muller at the company Juvana Therapeutics. Uh, Therapeutics, oh, that is a difficult Juvana word. Therapeutics, it is yeah. a bit of a tongue twister. Let's say that one 10 times fast. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we're going to have a show. We don't have the topic yet, but wait for that. And then on Wednesday, yeah, we're going this to have another... This is all about another... stem cells, AI and stem cell, stem, stem cell technology. All about mm, the first show. Young. Yeah. Mm, nice. Uh, you're not talking about the show that we're going to have on Wednesday, right? No, that was okay. Juvena, Juvena Therapeutics, stem cell. Research. Great. On Wednesday, we're going to have a conversation with Rui Gans. Gansaravsky, Gansaravsky at the company Illithan. The topic is going to be about digital world, Web3. Let's not forget we still live in the physical world. That is going to be really interesting. Yeah, then, it's a, the linking digital and physical worlds without harming asset integrity. So I think there's going to be some blockchain components in there. I'm not sure. It's going to be a really good conversation. Don't miss the show. And the last show is going to be with Clark Bell at the company Aqua Yield. Wait for the topic because we don't have it yet. Yeah, that one's, it's a little different for Dojo Live. Um, less on the software side and more on the biotech side, I think. Um, and how we're able to make water go further. Yeah, it'll be great. It'll be a great week. A busy week. Whew tired already no no that's not true it's always fun it's always fascinating to see just the wide variety and reach of technology these days so join us on dojo live 10 o'clock pacific every day this week friday we get a rest though as usual all right see you then america bye for now